Today is a really big day for us. We've been working really hard over the last eight years and sacrificing a lot to become financially free. And as of today, we are officially free. In this video, we're gonna show you how we did it and how you can too. Hi, we're Jamie and Sarah, and on this channel we like to talk about different ways to make money outside of a 9 to 5. And while we have a lot of fun doing furniture flipping and house flipping and stuff like that, um, our heart behind it is truly to show people that financial and time freedom is possible. We really aren't anything special. We didn't receive an inheritance or win the lottery. We really just started from scratch. Financial freedom has a lot of different definitions, but for us it's the point when our passive income covers all of our living expenses for our current lifestyle. So it's not about buying fancy cars or big mansions or going on lavish vacations. It's really just about time freedom and being able to choose what we do with our time and ultimately with our lives. There are two things you can do to achieve financial freedom. One of them is to increase your passive income, which is money you make without punching a clock. And then the second thing is to actually decrease your expenses. Today we did both of those things in a big way. Um, we bought another rental property, which uh, will increase our passive income. And we also paid off our truck, which will decrease our expenses. But before we talk about all that, we should explain how it started for us. When we first got married, Jamie was a middle school science teacher and I was a waitress. From there, we actually started our wedding photography business. It seemed like all we were doing was working at that time. We would come home from our long day at the job and do our second job. So um, it was a pretty exhausting time, but we really had a passion for wedding photography and building that business. So we worked really hard at that to increase our income on that side. And then on the other side, we lived really cheaply. Uh, we had a really kind of dumpy apartment. <laughs> Uh, we paid $5.25 a month, including utilities, mm -hmm. um, which was awesome, but it was also kind of uncomfortable. It was very uh, tiny. <laughs> yeah, our, our uh, door would hit the couch when you'd open the door, so. <laughs> um, but uh, we really cherished those times, and living cheaply like that allowed us to save money quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So then once we had a little bit of money saved, we decided to buy our first house. Um, the one we chose was definitely a fixer-upper. <laughs> I would call it kind of dumpy um, mm -hmm. and our realtor didn't even want us to buy it he kind of was telling us that the area was a little bit sketchy and stuff like that but it was actually up and coming um, which we kind of knew at the time but he didn't we eventually sold that house two years later to get a little bit more uncomfortable in house hack so what house hacking means is that you buy a duplex and you live in half of it while the other half pays for your mortgage so by making that decision to house hack, over the course of two years, we saved about $25,000 extra dollars. Um, but the key was, instead of inflating our lifestyle with the extra money we were making, we decided to save it and continue to invest it in real estate. So over time, our wedding photography business really took off. So we were able to quit our full-time jobs, um, and this really gave us a good taste of what time freedom could look like for us. During that time we lived in the duplex, we continued to buy and sell rental properties over the years and continue to reduce our debt and increase our income. Um, so because of that, at this point, we have five rental properties that we own with no debt. We have three duplexes, a fourplex, and a single family. Um, so we had no idea that this would end up happening for us. Um, we just continued to save and invest diligently and eight years later we can look back and say it was definitely worth it. We're gonna break down our passive income and expenses for you guys so you can really see what financial freedom looks like for us. We'll do another video more specifically on our real estate story, but as of right now, the five rental properties we own generate about $8,000 per month in passive income, which sounds like a crazy amount, but you have to factor in expenses with that as well. So there's a common real estate rule that is called the 50% rule, and that means that 50% of your gross rents will go towards your expenses. So we like to use that rule just because it's conservative and we know that we can expect half of our gross rents mm -hmm. um, to be able to consider passive income. So we count on about $4,000 a month passively. So our expenses are our own personal mortgage, which is $1,171 a month, mm -hmm. um, our health insurance, which is $550 a month, our cell phones are $150, utilities are $250, our food is about $600, mm -hmm. and then we have a miscellaneous category of $300, and then also a giving category of $400. So this number ends up being $3,421 a month in expenses. Those expenses are for our current lifestyle and give us the ability to give and live comfortably. 
So by paying off that truck today and then uh, bringing our income with rentals up to 4,000 a month, uh, we were able to achieve that financial freedom goal we had. So even though our expenses are covered by our passive income, we really want to continue to work and be productive. So we might flip a house, we really want to continue working on YouTube. It's really up to us at this point. So that's the whole point of what we're trying to say to you guys is that if you can achieve financial freedom, how you spend your time and how you make money is up to you. Um, so from first glance, this may seem unattainable for you, but um, it's really not. Like we said before, we're not special. We didn't have an inheritance or win any free money. Um, we just slowly invested over the course of eight years. And all you have to do is the same thing. You just need to learn how to increase your income and then reduce your expenses. So um, one way you can increase your income is through a side hustle. Um, so that's why we like showing you guys like furniture flipping and stuff like that. Um, these are just ways you can invest your money and your time on the side to grow your income that you can then invest. So the second way that you can achieve financial freedom is by actually decreasing your expenses. Um, our number one way to do that is to house hack. We really recommend it to anyone is to buy a duplex and live in half of it and get rid of that mortgage. That is our number one advice for sure. Um, people usually spend the most on their housing expenses. So if you can eliminate that completely, that's gonna allow you to save a bunch of money. Like we mm -hmm. said, for us, it was $25,000 over two years. Right. Uh, the second thing you could do is just to shop at Aldi. We're big advocates of that. Um, and the third thing is to quit that Gucci habit. <laughs> stop buying the Gucci. <laughs> it was hard for us to stop buying Gucci, but you guys can do it too. Uh, comment below, let us know what you think of our video, and uh, we hope to share more uh, finance related tips in the future on this channel because we're really passionate about it, and even though furniture flipping is great, uh, there's lots of other ways to uh, grow your income. All of these things combined, you'll be really surprised at how quickly you can save money to invest and actually achieve financial freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not easy. It takes a lot of work um, and being uncomfortable, but uh, we think it's totally worth it, especially now that we're to this point. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to us uh, for future content on personal finance. Bye. Bye.